Hello and welcome to Vitush Academy with another video showing you how to use empty list as a default argument in a Python function. So this subject is inspired pretty much by this Python how-to book from Yong Chu, where I'm actually an acknowledged person right here. And I'm going to be talking concerning 613, avoiding the pitfall of setting default arguments for mutable parameters. So let's start. So what exactly is a default parameter? Why is it important? And what can we do with it? Let's take a look. I mean, pretty much imagine a function like this, sum me, and we would have here um, parameter one and parameter two. And of course it would be param one plus param two as a return. And if we call it with one, two, it would be returning three. That is it. Here we see the tree. Uh, what we can do here is a bit more interesting if we always say some param and seven. We can always say, hey, this param two would be equal to seven. So if we just pass one, it would return something like eight. Yeah, as easy as this one. And it's a tricky thing here that you might think that this would work with lists, but it doesn't. So that's the whole idea of the video. Why it doesn't work with lists. And let's see. So using the example in the book, pretty much they're creating a, ta a class task which is a custom class and it is initiated like this with self, with title, with description and with urgency. So whatever we give as a title is the title. Whatever we give as description is the description whatever we give as urgency equals urgency true this is how it works and in order to complete the task we simply do the following we say that the status of the task becomes completed which is quite fun and we can always say printing task dot status mm -hmm. or printing pretty much like f uh, task title is with a status completed. Okay, well let's run a bit just to see how it would work. So here on the bottom we create a task, which is a new task, and the example in the book pretty much is homework. So this is our title. And the description is physics and math and the urgency is five, whatever this means. And we simply say complete task, our task, this one. Let's see what will happen if we run it. Homework is with status completed. Okay, what exactly happened? It entered this function here, it created task status. And we did it like this, we can improve it. 
so it looks a bit more like programming actually let's see yeah homework is with status completed we simply change the status here great and let's continue further mm -hmm. so now let's imagine that except for completing task uh, we should add also a note and task note here would become note and of course we will be putting task title is with a status task status okay and then we simply write note task dot note and now the idea is that this thing should be also executable would it be executable no of course missing one required position of argument note which is a good reason not to be executable so imagine that instead of having just these two lines we have multiple other code pretty much like this so task one task two task three task one task two task three and it's homework this one will be fun and this one will be games um civilization 5 with urgency 15 and this one will be sport just football with urgency 3 okay of course it will not be happy because we don't have a note so what can we do is let's say imagine that actually we should be having a note here which is uh, let me think of something something good note like gaming is important and here football is fun the idea is to make sure that the whole three tasks are running through this one without changing this one what we can do is simply saying hey we're getting this uh, this makes the whole thing optional and actually it should be working yeah homework is with the status completed note no note okay uh, we can always say something like this if note equals like this then else print something smaller without the note okay. we can do it in a better way but just show something almost six with the status completed note mm -hmm. just a second down the good question is uh, if note is like this then Mm -hmm. should be the other way around yep mm -hmm. yeah like this and now the node will be only visible if uh, if it, there is a node yeah gaming is important football is fun let's have it like a sentence like this okay so now the more interesting part let's let's imagine that we also in parallel with completing the tasks we would be having something else uh, we would be grouping them in a way so we'll put like this group tasks group tasks equals empty list so do not do this at home because it's not a good idea um, i'm just wondering whether i should remove the node but okay i will not and what i'm going to do is no i, I will remove the node yeah like this i'll be following the book 
that I'm presenting actually. So group tasks dot append and simply task title. Great. And we will be returning groups tasks. Well, makes sense. So we would be appending uh, the tasks and of course it only asks for it is without a node so I'll remove the node here and now I'll try to see what to print so pretty much print homework mm. And here I will be printing task one. And then I will be doing this three more times with task two and task three. Uh, this one is fun and this one is sports. So how what what I'm expecting to see? I'm pretty much expecting to see the group task. So for homework it would be physics and math. For fun it would be civilization five. For sports, it would be football, just like in a way in a list. Let's see what will be happening. This this is not what I expected, and there should be a good good reason for this one. Yeah, and the reason is pretty much mm, it should be something like this: work equals complete task. And then here would be having fun equals complete tasks task two and then sports it was like this and we we're having we would be printing work task homework would be work fun would be fun sports would be sports okay probably became a bit more complicated but what you're seeing is somehow something strange. Homework, fun, and sports are present everywhere. And these are actually different classes. So it was not supposed to be like this. Really. This is really, really bad thing that should not be happening. And that's why the highlight of the video is how to use empty list as a default argument in a Python function. This is obviously the wrong way because somehow it started grouping uh, around different classes or for each class entering uh, into its task title appending there it's a really 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 bad idea so it should be a bit different completely completely different uh, why is this because python evaluates the function when it is defined pretty much it starts to, once we run it even before running the code it evaluates the function and it assigns here grouped tasks as an empty list so this is a side effect any mutable default argument is created with the evaluation and becomes part of the function so once this function is evaluated this group task thing is actually evaluated and once we start putting stuff into it it's unfortunately not working the way we would like to work so you would be probably thinking hey i i want to have it working what should i do it's a really really easy thing the group task should be equal to none and then well this is the check that is important if group tasks equals is none not equals because this is how we compare none that's another video then grouped tasks equals something like this group tasks append task title okay and return uh 
group task. Okay, so remember what we were having with this homework, homework, fun sports, fun, fun, homework, fun sports, and sports. We had all these three. Let's see what we, how it should be. Actually, if we do it like this. This is what I was expecting exactly. Homework has only the homework task. Fun has the fun. Sports has the sports. And mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much. That's all. That's how it was supposed to be uh, by design. So that's the whole reason I made the video. If group task is non group task. Empty. So I really hope you realized what's the idea and how to do it correctly. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day. Bye.